Привет! Привет! Как дела? Хорошо. Как дела? Отлично. I have I had to do it, so you know people think we do have a Wi-Fi in Russia. You can connect to Russia. <laughs> no, no, no. We didn't have Wi-Fi when we first got there. Oh, nobody in Europe had Wi-Fi. I'm we just, were like the first people <laughs> to, to get Wi-Fi. No. I felt like I was still in college. I had that that like Ethernet plug in my apartment. <laughs> I know, but anyways, I do I have some things with with the states too. When no, no, I I'll try to get this. my phone. But no, 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 okay. We lived right. in that house. Okay. So that house did have problems with the Wi-Fi because it was like so far out. Well, now I'll, you can I'll build in I'll the be... little, you know, like, yeah. Well, it was a long time ago, Sue. So I know, a long it was a long time ago. ago. I was trying to get a um, cell phone in the States for the summer. And they were like, no, 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 only for one year service. And you have to have a credit card. And you have to have your ID. And you know, I'm like, are you serious? I know, we're like I just... so official over here. Like, like can, can I just rent the movie? No, you can't rent the movie. Can I Where just slip you a hundred and get it done. Exactly, <laughs> and nobody would take a hundred. <laughs> like, can I get some, you know, pizza? Like, oh no, we don't, we don't break this. We can break this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you for joining me. Yeah, appreciate sure. it. Wow, that's awesome. This is a superstar, but I'm sure everybody knows you. Everybody knows you, Seabird. For time Olympian. Gold if, you play, if you play as long as I have, yeah, more people are going to yeah, know so, you. Play so a long enough time. And... <laughs> keep going, keep going. After keep. your conversation with D, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm cheering for you guys. Thank I'm, you. I'm, yeah. So, can we talk about a little bit, you know, your, I know you talk about European experience like 100 million times. And I know all the, all the fun stuff. Oh, yes. This is for your friend. Oh, my God. I special, can you read this? Yeah, Russian Standard. Good job. I know the label. Listen, that's, that's, for, that's for Megan. That's for Megan? <laughs> that's not for you, that's for her. Megan's strictly smart off. Okay. Smart I couldn't off. find it. That's oh, not, really? We don't sell it anymore. So they actually no. have Russian Standard in America now. For like oh, 10 years, but yeah, mm. they have it now. Oh, well. In the, in the Russian stores? <clears throat> no, like regular stores. I think it has to... I feel like I it. there was like an interesting timing of when... Um, Oh my God, you'll know. The guy who used to own the Brooklyn Nets. Brokrov? How do you say it? Brokrov. Yeah, Brokrov. Mikhail. Yes. There was mm -hmm. like an interesting timing. He bought the Nets. All of a sudden we had Russian standard in stores. I was like, did he bring this with him? This he doesn't even drink. Oh, really? No. Well, there you go. I think like, I've seen him drink maybe here. like champagne. He's like Putin. He doesn't drink, you know? They only have a little champagne. But do you know Prokhorov? By like, no, have no, you no. ever I met him? I met him once. Um, he had a, a, a woman, a, a female, who was his assistant, and I was at something mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. I met her once, um, but no, not like. He sold. He sold the team. Like, come on, yeah. that's the only connection we had to NBA. That's you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a, that's our representation. Get but, uh, um, get Kirilenko to buy a team. <laughs> is he rich enough? No, no. How I'm much? How, no, seriously. How much money you need? Five billions? I have no idea. No, like, like one, probably billions. Like one billion? Like I think you need like a steady. No, I don't think you need one billion. Well, it depends what team you're buying. Yeah, if you're buying okay. Knicks, it's like five billion. But then you need like a steady stream of like. Yeah, you, like you have to show your income. You have to show your income. Yeah, well, <laughs> like... there you go. That'll be tough for you guys. <laughs> but you know what? Um, from uh, your conversation with D, I didn't know that Shapta wanted to buy a team um, in the WNBA. Yeah. This yeah, is uh, this is it. really cool. Mm -hmm. I would love to play for that. I know. We would I be. Think we would be would love to play for that. Whoa, we would be the shit. I think we'll the saddest part about that is like I'm sure you know, like in sports, it always takes like competition to like raise it, right? So even in Russia, yeah. like. And you know way more about this than I do, but just from my experience, it was like mm -hmm. there probably wouldn't have been um, like a Spartak if there wasn't an ECAT, and there and and Dynamo Moscow probably wouldn't have wanted to like up their money. So like when one team spends money on a player, then of course the other it teams raised. Everybody has to. So That's why people are saying like why the, why one team is still doing that like ECAT? Yeah. Why are they still they raising it? Like we can yeah. all do a little uh, 50% decrease and, you know, everybody will still pay for this kind of money. Who knows why they um, do it. Let them do it. God, God yeah, bless so them. Yeah, so Shab's in the WNBA would have been, he would have just raised it. 
he would have raised you know he would probably pay under the table and probably. nobody would know probably <laughs> you know but we're not, not even gonna, gonna talk about that <laughs> let's you know we we are role models especially you are so can we talk about the olympics a little bit yeah sure do you think uh playing in uh, your national team is the easiest for you out of all the teams you ever played in in all the championships because um, i feel like you guys are the best it's so easy for you like, come yeah. and kill everybody you know so it's it's definitely different from other countries national teams like <clears throat> like we'll use lauren jackson as an example or like penny taylor also when those two get on their national team they have to do everything they're the focal point they're, they're like the main people that they're running all the place for so the difference with us is when we get on our national teams it's quote easier just because there's so many good players and it's not mm -hmm. about one person so like we could all go out there, score seven points a piece, and probably score a hundred points because we mm -hmm. have so much talent. So no one feels that stress, that pressure, like no one person. So that's nice, especially as a point guard. That's really nice. But there are other pressures and other expectations, and we don't practice. So a lot of times it's really uncomfortable out there because, like, mm. you don't have the chemistry. You don't because you, you don't get enough time to practice. Team. Yeah, mm -hmm. when you're on a team for like a month, two months, your WNBA team, your overseas team, you like you gel. So even if you're not as talented because you play so well together, it feels good. So on our national team, yeah. we don't really get that feeling. We're kind of just trying to make it work. But simultaneously, so we're, we're, we have to win. So there's like a different pressure. So a little it's easier, different. but it's mm -hmm. not. So it kind of goes both ways. But you, you, you were involved in this little, you know, change you guys did, right? So you, mm -hmm. you did the winter tour. And uh, you're gonna continue to do it every year? That's that's the I thing now for the states. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I really don't know. I think, like, if I were just speaking in hope, like, yeah. I hope that at least every Olympic year they can do that, have mm -hmm. some sort of, you know, like you said, tour put together that kind of gets some momentum going into the Olympics, and then maybe mm -hmm. in the like the off Olympic years they can have something, maybe a little less, maybe it looks a little different, but just something. I mean, who knows? But who pays for that? You have a sponsorship for that? Is of some kind? I mean, I don't know. I think like, so obviously USA Basketball and the WNBA, mm -hmm. NBA are like brothers and sisters. So like they yeah. are very much under the same umbrella. So I think together they all figure out like where the money comes from. Sponsorship, when we go to okay. schools, mm -hmm. there's like a money exchange, stuff, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So what's what's the toughest country in the last like five years? What's the toughest country you ever had to like compete against? What like in the Olympics? Except Russia, because we don't you know we don't make it um, anymore. I mean, <laughs> like completely honest, um, the tough in my Olympic experience. So in my four Olympics, the the the, the, the like two three toughest games I can think of. Um, or first of all, they're always against Russia or Australia, without a doubt. I don't think we've ever really had any like scares if you will mm -hmm. with any other country like don't get me wrong we played I don't, i'm sure you heard we played uh nigeria recently and they almost they almost beat us but that's, they won by like three quarters they, they, yeah, they yeah, yeah. and like yeah. all respect to them but like that's not that, that's not the olympic team so i'm talking like the olympics the lights are on you're in the semi-finals you know those yes. type of mm -hmm. moments russia and australia for sure um, but come on you don't have to be nice just because no, i'm not Russian. Being nice. we haven't right. been you know we are not you almost be in my we didn't qualify for Olympics. I know, but that's recently. But th this is my experience. It goes all the way back to 2002. Okay. Well, yeah, 2002 that's... World Championships, we played you in the finals. That was a close game. Mm -hmm. 2004 semifinals, close game. Yes. 2006, you beat us. 2008. The only team that beat you in how many uh -huh. years? In a lot how of years. many years? In like all in like, years. In like 20 years. Since, since 1992. Too. Like we lost in '92, got a bronze, I believe. Maybe to you, actually. But it might have been I like, have... were you USSR then or something? <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> no, I know not you. '92, <laughs> we didn't, <laughs> we didn't have a flag. Okay, that's what it was. You know, the flag. Yeah, we didn't have um, a flag. Yeah, but it was know. already Russia. Yeah. But yeah, I can go through all the years. You know my memory. 2008, we Amazing played in the semis. Years. That was not. That was tough. You had Becky Hammond then. That was tough. Yes, and, and you like triple team Becky. You didn't have yeah, to do we, this to yeah. Becky. <laughs> like oh we gotta we gotta Stop shut her down the she's, no. <laughs> she's not gonna by the way on the russian wikipedia it says sue bird israelian basketball player i know it's so funny it's like can you add the american it's on the american one too. i know whatever oh, it's okay that's okay
Israeli rules. So, so okay, so I'm sorry. So Australians and Russians. Yeah, and then we all. It seems like we always played you in the semis, and we always played mm-hmm. them in the finals. Them in the finals, it was more like like in London. I think it was either we were down to or up to. It was a close game. I think we were down to in London mm-hmm. to, for the Australians, and that's when they had Cam- like Liz Cambage hit the scene. Lauren was still on the Lauren team. To play Penny to together, yeah. Though. Penny mm-hmm. wasn't there. She was hurt. Anyway, so yeah, you guys have probably scared us the most, and then you of course beat us. I have to tell you a funny story about that game. Um, <laughs> so we had the, uh, we had this, you know, Igor, our coach, Igor yep. Grudin. Mm-hmm. So we had this coach and we had the game plan. I hope he's not listening. Oh my God, this is going to be like embarrassing for him, but... Yeah. Well, he doesn't speak English. <laughs> it's, it's been a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. So uh, at halftime, you know, we're up a little bit, but we, we know you're going to, you guys are going to come out like on fire, change your little, you know, whatever you're doing on the court. So our coach is like, oh my God, this is amazing. We're playing great pick and roll defense, whatever we discussed. And we switched on every pick and roll. And she was like, let's keep doing what we're doing. I'm like, oh my God, he didn't even notice what we're doing out there. You so we, it. he changed, he didn't change anything, but he didn't know what was going on in the court. Right, right. So we were like, oh, let's keep switching on every pick and roll, you know? So basically we coached ourselves. Uh-huh. And sometimes, I mean, you know, you don't, you don't win with the best coach. You just win with the coach that goes with the flow. You guys, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. You guys, um, that year, you guys were like, kind of all in your, like not your primes. I feel like prime is kind of like 29, 28 to like 32. Because it's where like talent and experience. Unless you're very healthy, I agree. Yeah, and you're healthy. Yeah, so it's kind of where that. But you guys, so that that team, it was like it was all of our generation of player, and it was finally Mm -hmm. like your guys' team. There was no more older players, and that's so you guys like. Yeah, I mean, I have nightmares of that game. I remember it vividly. Well, at least it happened once. But uh, (laughs) do you know that? (laughs) You know how Russians get uh, money if they win a gold medal. Mm-hmm. For the rest of their lives, do you mm-hmm. get anything? No, not the rest of. I know we get something, not the rest of our life. That is like the like, untold you don't get, story. You don't well, get the pension. I don't get. I don't get a BMW X3. You don't, don't get, get a car. No, I don't get a car. This is something that you need to tell people, like Americans, like okay, what Russians Americans, get if you so win a gold medal. So listen. So listen. Go. You. <laughs> in your in your finest American accent. I know, I'm sorry. I haven't spoke English in a long time. No, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that. If you if you win the gold medal, uh, silver or bronze, everybody gets a car, like a brand everybody. new car. Everybody, so all the medalists. After 2008, all you guys came rolling into the parking lot with your BMWs. We were like, "What is this?" Sorry. Yes, you get a car. You get a car. Obviously, if you're, you know, the, you get the gold. You get a, a little bigger car, a little nicer car. But they still, you know, is amazing cars <laughs> and then depends well you get the money you get the from money, your club you get don't you get money uh, from your club no you get the money from the president oh gosh it's like thirty thousand for the first place 20 for the second like 10 i don't i'm not you know this is not for sure but there was a big amount of money for the bronze and then yeah. you get uh you get the pension for the next year which is not too bad it's like one thousand no like five hundred a month and then go I ahead, get, drop the bomb. What do you get when you when you're gold? Or you get five grand for the rest of the a month for the rest of your life. Life for the rest of your life, five grand a month. All those all those but gold medals, medals don't Russia, don't count. If you're like, oh, like four pandemic, time medalist, pandemic. it doesn't add up, unfortunately. What? If you if you oh, won enough. multiple medals, you're not gonna get that. You know, if you like three time gold medalist, you're not gonna get fifteen grand. No, only five. But it's plus Still, you get money. Plus month, you get money your from your region. Yeah, that's so Russia. Okay, that's your Russia region. is huge. Yes. So you have a Moscow region. You have mm-hmm. St. Petersburg region. You have this and that. It depends on the uh, the mayor of the city you're from, the governor of your region. So everybody gives you presents. Yeah. And you are. If you, <laughs> and you, you know, we you're got from a like. Battle. Yeah. We used we to get this in Soviet Union. That's true. Metal and a flower. <laughs> so there were games where one in particular was in Athens. And you guys played in the bronze medal game and you won. And I was telling Megan this because they replayed some of the games the other day. 
Yes. And I, so they had our, it was our gold medal game from Athens. And I was like, oh, funny story. I was like, the Russians played before us for, for the bronze. They won. And our game got delayed. Our game got delayed because they couldn't get the champagne off the floor. Because Shaptai, <laughs> when they won bronze, came in <laughs> throwing champagne everywhere. And they couldn't clean it fast enough. And and I remember thinking, like, I actually remember thinking, like, and don't get me wrong, a medal is a medal. Yeah. But it's yeah. like, I know I didn't realize for you guys what it meant just to even get bronze or silver or whatever. Like, you get so many so, rewards. So it's like a big deal. Whereas, like, for us, if we got anything less than gold, people would be crying. But for us, see, um, we don't have, we, we have a great Russian championship, but it's not even close to Olympics. Like, yeah. you're a hero if you win Olympics, even mm -hmm. to get the medal. Yeah. Who cares that I got eight uh, Russian titles? Like, really? Like, nobody I, cares. I respect it, Svetty. I respect it. No, but it's like, come on. If you tell me, like, oh, I won seven WNBA champ championships, I'm like, wow, this is awesome. Like, this is great. It's, it's almost like Olympics. I didn't even know what you would take, one gold medal or one WNBA title. Right. You know, in, in our lives, it's like, you got to do it. So, I mean, yes, they take care of you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but no. When we learned about not. this, we were like, wait, what? 5000 a month for the rest of your life? We were like blown away, given... Some people, some people get apartments. That's crazy. People around here asking dollars or rubles. That's dollars. Oh, we already did the. Uh, I hope I'm not mistaken. I hope, it, I hope it's not. No, yeah. I think you're right. I remember the yeah. same thing. We yeah, already yeah, did yeah, the conversion yeah. for you. That's dollars. That no, but if you're from the small city and you're like the first Olympian from your little town, oh, yeah. you get apartment. You get like a house. Like they yeah, take care crazy. of you. They, that's awesome. You know, that's, that's awesome. That's why we love Olympics. Yeah. Uh, what's, what do you think was the strongest team you played for in, in, um, for the national team? Uh, like the best team? The best, um, yeah. I actually just had Diana answer this the other day, and I think I agree with her. Similar to what I was just saying to you about like yeah. primes and talent, mm -hmm. I do think the teams that I've played on, I do think the 2016 team yes, will 16. probably, when it's all said and done, it was like the most talented, and everybody was like in some version of their prime. Like, even though D, uh, Tamika Catchings, and me were a little older, we were still like very much playing well. I would say the 2008 team as well. Mm -hmm. um, that Don't one was pretty that. legit too. It's between those two. Uh, man. Do you think you would uh, say if you're going to the next Olympics, would you ever think of yourself coming off the bench? Because you, I don't think you ever came off the bench. Came off the bench? Only, you know when I came off the bench? What? I, uh, oh, you know what? You and Tisha were talking about this. Um, when Tisha and I played together in Spartak that first yeah. year, we always had to like take turns doing stuff. So I think you there didn't... were enough times I came off the bench on that year. Oh my God, you didn't make the starting five. No, it was like every, every remember? Oh, well, so it was you or different. Tisha? Yeah, it was, it was a little oh different, I think, God. for you as a Russian, because you always play in the Russian games. That's like no question. But for the foreigners, mm -hmm. we would like come to shoot around that day or watch a video. And she would be like, okay, today it'll be. Beating, 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 beating. You'd be like, one, two, three, four, five. And then the other, whatever, three of us, we'd be like, okay, oh today, off day. <laughs> um, would I come off the bench? Honestly, I would. I don't, I have no, there's no, I have no problem with that. That's, I don't think that's like a big deal to me. I, I think okay. starting means something and obviously I've done it my whole career. So I know the, like what other people would say, you mm -hmm. know, like the narrative around it would be like, oh, but if it's what the team needs to win, I don't give a shit. Like it, it has no impact on me. That's right. Because you know. And that's not from... even like the politically correct answer. First of all, it means I'm in the top 12 still. Yeah, so that's like, that's awesome. Yeah, so like starting, not starting, it's whatever. I mean, it's, if they want me to be the spark off the bench, cool. <laughs> I don't know how much spark Ginobili. I have left in me, but I'll try. <laughs> that's what I was in Seattle. I was the spark off the bench. <laughs> you that's were the spark. Brian told me that oh, we need you off the bench. I'm like, Brian, whatever you need. The seven days. You were the spark. <laughs> but just, we played together in Seattle. For somebody who don't know, probably you have no idea who Sue is talking to, but we played in uh, Seattle. If we won a championship. You if they know <laughs> oh, me, they no, know you. They don't. We played at UConn together and we won one Two title years. together. Yes. What's up, Dwayne? Uh, what's up? We can what's answer questions too. Yes. What's up with that wine, though? <laughs> what, what? Come on, wine. This is. 
we got the real we got the real stuff uh what about what about european uh, league the strongest team the the team you hated to play against just like give national a little, team yeah. or your league no like when we when you played in russia you had to compete against the european league teams like, oh yeah i mean like those Brno teams Jeez. Those Brno teams were tough, especially at Brno. Czech Republic, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So those Brno teams, I mean, that was basically their national team. <laughs> uh, like eight players. Yeah, like Hanna at the point guard. I actually got to play with her in ECAT. That was a lot of fun to get to know her. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they were legit. I mean, Yana, who was also our teammate. And they're Seattle. so, yeah, they were so they were tall legit. and strong and they could shoot from anywhere. Like, and they were huge. They were all, I mm-hmm. felt like they were all like, you know, six, five. Yana's so tall. People don't realize how tall Yana yeah. is. She's so tall. So th- those were tough. Playing at Brno was tough. In that small gym or the new one? The small gym. The small. Oh gym. my God! I t- called it a church. You it called so it a quiet. church? Didn't you play it's there? Like, I played. It's like a church. No, like for it's the like team. Not... Oh no 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 no! I played in Bruno. The other. Yeah, team. that's what I said. Bruno. No. Uh, I thought you talked about Prague team. No 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 no. no. Bruno. The Bruno team. Yeah, I played there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah, you played there. Yeah. <laughs> we, we trained so much. I thought it was hard that, uh, you know, like the national team, but over there, they just practice, 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 yeah, played one on one, played one on one. Every practice is one on one. I'm like, it's March. Can we do five on five? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to, we have to be, you know, like one on one, one on one. Um, what about like Spanish teams? Yeah. You felt like, you know. Um, you know, it's like every year dependent. So, like, there was some years where it was Salamanca and a lot mm-hmm. of it for Salamanca was um, at playing at Salamanca like they have amazing fans um, Jewel Lloyd actually played there this year when she told me she was going there I was yeah. like oh my god you're gonna love it I was like the fans are crazy the city's super cute and like convenient you know what I mean like you can convenient, get around yeah, yeah. it's got a lot of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think nice teams, weather yeah yeah I think when when I was playing in EuroLeague um, Valencia probably had the stronger teams. Like Maya, Salamanca was yeah. better maybe one or two years. Yeah, Amaya. Mm-hmm. Amaya was yeah. When Amaya was there, Delisha was there. Uh, the year that Lauren was there with Maya more, they were bomb that year. Yeah, Valencia. How many, um, um, you won, uh, you won the EuroLeague like three times or four, four times? I won, so I won four times with Spartak. Yeah. And then I won um, one time with the Katerenberg, but it's kind of like an asterisk. Like I was on the early roster at the start of the season. I played a yeah. early game, yeah. maybe two. But then by the end of the season, um, we flipped. So me and Candace flipped. So first I was on it, then Candace came. In. It still know. counts. It still counts. Still counts. All right. Yeah, five of time. course. We'll take it. Five times. Of course. Can you can you just uh, maybe if you think about it, like the years you did didn't win. Like, what was wrong with the team? I mean, you and I, we sometimes you just feel like it's not clicking, the chemistry is not there, but you have all these great players around you and you, you always work to get this, to everybody to gel in, but it doesn't work. Like, how do you think it, or when do you think it's like the time to say, oh, we're not gonna do it this year? Yeah, um, so for your league, in my experience, um, mm-hmm. Like my first couple years in Dynamo, I just don't think we had enough talent looking back. No, you that, didn't, yeah. Yeah. My was... very first year we almost made it to the final four. We mm-hmm. we took Vilnius to like three games, we almost made it. Um but we were probably just too young, didn't know. Then Spartak, boom, we go on this great run. And then actually mm-hmm. the one other year I played at Spartak, Diana had left. You know, Shaftai had passed away. Diana had left, um, the team was kind of, but we had a really talented team and we got to the final four and we got to the final. Mm-hmm. And that was the first time where we beat a Katernberg in the semis and nobody thought we could beat them. Of course, and we beat I was at the UK. Yeah. yeah, you were on that team, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody thought we could, I mean, you guys had like, ECAT had a thing about Spartak. It was something about our jersey. You guys would like get scared. We couldn't play against the zone. Happened. We couldn't play against the zone. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Just put the zone against us. And we worked on that zone. I mean, Pokey had us working on that zone nonstop. We would do like different, it was, we had all kinds and of we told the all, zone. every coach who gets fired, if we get the new guy, we're like, let's practice on the zone. All the Russians, when they first banquet, opening of the season, 
we're like, yeah. hey, coach, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to beat everybody by 30 points. And at the end, we're going to meet Spartak at the semis because the Russians have to play. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I was like, can we practice zone? Because Americans, of course, they're going to play, you know, you're the stars. Right. So you're going to no, play. I totally I'm forgot like, about they that. Don't know, they don't know how to play zone. Yeah, we would throw that zone on you. We played zone the whole time. <laughs> but it was funny because, like, from our perspective, we would always get killed by you guys in Russian League. And for those on the on the Insta that don't know, like Russian league, you had to have two Russians on the floor. And then in your league, you had to have you could play whoever you wanted. So the yes. difference was in all reality, and I say this with all the respect for like Ira Osakova, Marina, like Marina would come in and Got make so many in. clutch plays. Yeah, she was like mm. our she was like our Dennis Rodman, to be honest. Like yep, all the yeah, rebounds, yeah. all the hustle plays. Like we needed those two for sure. Mm -hmm. But you guys had like the top notch Russians. So in Russian league, you would just smash us. It's like you would beat us I all know, the time. I in but then your league would come and it was like. And we sit on a bench. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the Russian league. This is our time. We're going to yeah, show them so that opposite. we can play too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some of those games, I tell people all the time, some of those games, like the ECAT versus Spartak, or when you were on Spartak, when we played Samara, or I guess they were Seska. I don't remember what they were at the time. Maybe Samara Seska. Seska. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like those, some of those games are like, the, like, the, I've never been on the, it was like all-star games, but they're actually teams. It's the most talented, like group of players in one gym at one time playing in an actual game where there's something. In the world. Like, it's like. Yeah, like yeah. literally ever. Better yes. than the WNBA. I don't say that lightly. Yeah, it's like all-star for the, yeah. Yeah, it's like, these are these games that nobody got to see that were like crazy. It's like me, Diana, um, Sylvia Fowles, Lauren Jackson versus, you know, you, Kathy Pondexter, P uh, Penny Taylor, Deanna Nolan, Maria Stabanova, Asia Jones. Like these teams are stacked. Stack. And you're actually playing for something. They were wild, wild games. They're so, some of my favorite games. Remember me and Dee would fight against each other? All the time. Like, you were teammates, awesome. you would fight. When you were teammates, no. you would fight. In practice, for <laughs> sure. Really? For oh, sure. Yeah, because, you know, I have, to, I have to earn my minutes. I have to show that, you know, I can. <laughs> I always say, there's one player that ruins practice. And it's act this is actually like a compliment. It's Diana. She just ruins practice because when you play against her in practice, you need mm -hmm. referees. She just plays a style where she's going to hit. She's going to bump. She's gonna, you know, do all the She's like, so stuff she does. She does it on purpose. I know. So in practice, all of us just look around like, is someone gonna call that? Is that a foul? What's happening? So for anyone who had to guard her, like yourself, you guys are just getting oh, fights. Oh <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh my God. What is going so on? Funny. You guys like, just... But we would never... When you, when you left, Anya Petrakova became the new you. Those two, oh. They used to fight every day in practice. Every day. And then she'll go um, after after game. She'll go out to eat and want to buy me dinner. I'm like, I don't want your money. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that's D, D though. Love you that's, that's D. She D takes care awesome. of her peeps. She takes care of her peeps. No, D. D. <laughs> you too. You too. <laughs> You were the two of the nicest Americans I ever met, and you were sweethearts oh. always, always Thanks. a sweetheart. So for everybody who is watching, the 700 people who are watching, <laughs> you're the sweethearts. <laughs> okay, can um, can we talk about uh, the WNBA? Yeah. And um, kind of, I kind of want to ask you about the NBA first, if you don't mind. Because it's so awesome that you know the ladies are getting inviting to work there. What it's like? Is it something you expected, or it's a completely different story? You feel comfortable in there? Or... Like when you get there? Yeah, when you get yeah. there. Yeah, no, it was um, totally cool. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I know where you're going with this. Like, did they treat me different, or did it? I, my experience, they treated me exactly the same as everybody else, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think we want to be treated differently, like women, like. You want it because truth is, I think you want to know you earned that position. You want you don't want to think someone gave it to you just because you're a woman. And the one thing I also learned. Very but you got invited is, just to observe, right? Or you have a particular role? <laughs> no. So it was kind of like a combination. They were very much mm -hmm. like, so here's the thing. Denver was, I was, they were very honest with me and I was very honest with them. And right away I, I said like, hey, listen, I still want to play. This is still my priority. So, right, right, right. I mean, mm -hmm. like anything in the world, it's very difficult to juggle two jobs if you can't give your 100% to either. And I was essentially telling mm -hmm. them, like, my my like 99.9% .9 is going to still be in basketball. 
And so we were, and they were like, okay, we understand that, but we still want you to do X, Y, and Z. So we basically came to like a middle ground and found what would work for both of us. That's how that, the position kind of came about. Or like mm -hmm. how it kind of like got its right, right, right. Mm -hmm. description. So you. But yeah, and the one thing I understood right away is like, this is like, these are competitive jobs. And these people, like yes. in the MBA, you win or you lose, right? You make good decisions or bad decisions. And nobody, and you mm -hmm. will lose your job. Pro sports is like cutthroat. If you don't perform, you lose your job. And so- And the team loses say, like three games in a row, you can be out. Yeah, like who knows, right? So I say this to say, they're not just gonna give, like they're not gonna give Becky Hammond a, a, a front bench assistant coach position just because it looks mm -hmm. good. Like they're trying to win and they got jobs and they're trying to like hold on to those jobs or advance in their jobs. So that's, that's a lot of people think like, oh, they're just getting these jobs because they're women. Just to show they don't like, just give no. these jobs just because. Like that's not how this works. But do you feel like you want to be there? Or you like D, I want to think... own it, but you kind of want to <laughs> <laughs> coach? Um, I see, I, like D's point makes sense to me. Like we're women's basketball players. We grew up in women's basketball. And, and I do mm -hmm. feel very like, convicted about wanting to make sure I'm constantly giving back to women's basketball, constantly trying to push it forward, trying to help it get better, whatever. Um, I do think by being in the NBA, if that's like what calls to you, then there's mm -hmm. no problem with that. I think to each their own, you know? I know Chrissy Tolliver like grew up wanting to do that. And hopefully now there's girls growing up wanting to be in the WBA. You know? about Christy, like I've read something, I was getting ready for the interview and I read something, Christy, like she was not making a lot of money working for the NBA. Like, can you explain to me? I didn't really understand, like, why, why not? Why she's not making the same amount of... So, you know, I'm to bore guys. you with it. It's actually now known as the, quote, Christy Tolliver rule. So basically the WNBA, so mm -hmm. every team has a salary cap and there's something called salary cap circumvention. It's basically what you said earlier about Shatai paying under the table. So they mm -hmm. don't want teams to ha find ways to pay players under the table. So they take okay. less in their salary, which allows you to sign other players for more money, but then you okay. pay them over here. So because Christy mm. was working for the Wizards, which is the same franchise as the Mystics, that was considered salary cap oh. So she could only make a certain amount of money. That's like the short of it. So she fell into this really weird loophole she actually had a job she wasn't just like they weren't just like oh yeah christy's a an assistant she like so if she would play, if she gets traded tomorrow she can get more money yes well now she plays for la she signed with la oh so if she stays with the wizards she can get paid as much money. As she wants. oh that's nice yeah. Maybe she, that's yeah. why she did it i didn't yeah. know that oh that's cool i didn't know that so uh so how um how do you stay I, I don't know. I'm almost 42. I'm going to have a nice birthday party, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I don't What do you do? Like, you have to give a little, a little secrets out there. Like, how what to I stay, do. yeah, how to stay in awesome shape. Like, you're playing at the highest level, at the most competitive league. You just ran a marathon. I could I never know, do but that. You know, come on. That's, you that's runner, That though. was easy. That was easy. Any UConn player who played with you that saw that picture was like, Yep. <laughs> yep. This is not a surprise. You used to murder right. us in the in the running. <laughs> the mile, one mile. Yeah, mile. Spetty, you would smash us in that. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, that was. Listen, there's no magic pill. I literally just like hired somebody who I trust. She gives me my workouts. Make sure that like talks to me constantly. Make sure like I'm feeling good. If anything hurts, I stop doing it. I eat a certain way that with. With like trial are you vegetarian? Are you vegetarian? Too? No, no, I'm not. I'm not vegan, vegetarian. But um, I really, I do, actually don't eat a lot of red meat. I'm like a lot of chicken, a lot of not a lot, but like chicken, fish. Those are like my and eggs. Those are probably the three proteins that I eat the most. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really do a lot of pork. I don't do. I rarely do red meat. You're Jewish. I, you can't do pork. I know that. Thank you. Got to keep it kosher. <laughs> kosher. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nothing magical. It's just like getting the right people around you, listening, trusting, and doing it. I would love to hire your person too. Yeah, you can. <laughs> she, work, she works Athlete. online? Okay. Athlete Blueprint, go check her out. Okay. The one no, thing I'll say, like, as yeah. an older player, what she really does, her name's Susan, what she does great mm -hmm. is she allows me to kind of live in this like hovering place where when I do need to get on the court and ramp it up, I'm ready. 
but she never lets me drop too low. So what that does is it doesn't put a lot of stress on my knee. I've had, at this point, I can't even remember, six or seven surgeries on my one knee. And that's my problem oh. right now. I have to like keep mm -hmm. that. So I'm not trying to like overdo it. So she, mm -hmm. I guess what I'm trying to say is she has me work out where I'm not overdoing it because I'm saving that for like basketball and games, but I'm not underdoing it. I'm just like always kind of right here, ready to go. But is your practices going to be limited or you're fine? Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. Oh, I have, a great, I have a great story. So okay. when Stewie first got to the team uh -huh. in Seattle, so it's 2016, um, she was just named to the Olympic team also. So they did this like Olympic preview with us, the Seattle media did. Mm -hmm. And so the very first question was like, hey, I love Stewie. Seattle, by the way. Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. Hey, Stewie, what's so what's like, what's your take on Sue so far? And they put the mic and she goes, um, well, she's on the bike a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, you're going to call me out. I ride the bike in practice just to stay warm. And then I get in the drills that I know are going to give me like bangs on my buck. And then I get out when it's when I need to like rest. And I probably only do 45 minutes to an hour of practice. That's it. So that's uh, your trainer, the doctor talks to the coach, talks to you. You all involved in this and you're like, no more. Yep. Yeah, it wouldn't how, work. How many years have you been doing that? Probably since 2016. Oh, wow. That's, that's really when it, like maybe 2015, so probably like four or five years. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. That's it's very working. smart. That's, that's working. Um, do you, um, like I read something about, you know, you've been the team captain since Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you are involved in, you know, you're talking to GMs and you're talking to coaches. Were any times where you have to be like, oh, I don't take this player. Don't bring her in. She's not like good for the team. Like in, in, in the matter of helping the team, not being selfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, there have been times where I've had coaches or GMs come to me and say, hey, we're thinking about signing this player. Do you have mm -hmm. any thoughts? And I would just give my thoughts like strictly basketball. And then I would also have them ask, not always, but I would have them ask, do you know anything about them off the court? And if I did, I was honest. But if I didn't know, and I would say, mm -hmm. listen, I don't know, do you want me to try to find out? And they would say, yes, then I would try to find out. But interesting, it's like, that's a, that's like a slippery slope. Yeah. Because actually, uh, Dee and I were talking about this the other day on the live. It's like, I mean, this was more about, you never know what players are like until they're on your team. Yeah, yeah, you discussed We were actually, them. yeah, we were actually kind of saying it jokingly, like, you never really know who they are. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. No, 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 we were saying like, cause you could, you could, I could play against a player who played on the Minnesota Lynx for 10 years. And they, I'd be like, dang, they're hard to guard, da, da, da. Awesome. But then when they get here. on your team, you start to see the everyday of a player and that's, because otherwise, you're really only evaluating them on like... It's like when you're dating time. somebody, you're looking at your friend's boyfriend, you're like, oh my God, he's amazing. <laughs> you don't have to go home with him every night. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. <laughs> you find out the real. Um, uh, yes. So yeah, but that goes both ways. Because then there are other players that mm -hmm. maybe it just, they couldn't get it to work in Minnesota and they couldn't get it to work in New York or they couldn't get it to work in wherever. And then they get to your team and you're like, oh my God. This person's amazing. I heard all these bad things. So it's it's a, it's a slippery slope. It can be tricky to, to do Do you have that. any players like that who you were kind of, you didn't like them? Like a you, hard no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that I didn't like them? Hard no and hard yes. Like when they came to a team, you're like, wow, she's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah I can't think. It's tough. Uh, I mean, There's a lot of players today. I'm trying to go through the catalog here. I played oh, a lot oh. of years. Um, the last two years, I don't know. The last years. two years. No. Yeah. no. Well, it's like, so Shavante Zealous, she had been on, um, she had been on New York right before she came to our team. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, New York didn't bring her back. So anytime a team, and I, I actually, I knew Shavante from playing against her. I call her Z. I knew Z from playing against her mm -hmm. and just thought, you know, when you're after the game, like, oh, what's up? How's it going? Maybe hung out a couple times. That was it. She was always cool to me though. So I never... But whenever a team's not gonna bring a player back, I think it's kind of like, oh, why didn't they want to do that? She came to our team mm -hmm. and it was amazing. She fit like, right totally in. Like, totally cool, yeah. fit right in, yeah. So see what I'm saying? Like, there was like a question mark around her, like, oh, but why doesn't New York want to bring her back? Like, what happened? Mm -hmm. And I think our team is actually really good at like, we have like a culture in Seattle. She came in and right away it was just like, oh, these people are stupid. Like, she's totally cool. 
She's cool and she. It's like Dennis Rodman and watching that last dance. Yeah, that's a good idea. You have to, you have to, you have to get the play. All right. Um, can we answer some questions? There's a lot of questions. Yeah, sure. Oh my god, this is awesome. You don't see them, right? So much no. knowledge. You have to like, if you hit it, and I think if you post it, it'll come up. But don't try to do it if you don't have to do it. This yeah, I'm sorry. Hello from Italy. Love from Italy. Really, woman's happy. I did have a um, question about you from this one, one, uh, one girl, a Russian fan. She was like, "Do you have to act differently among other people because you're a superstar? People are looking at you. Do you act differently at home or in public? Like, where is that line? Is it hard yeah, for the you? Line. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So first, I'll start out with this. Mm -hmm. It probably took me like years to get to this place. I just got there recently, probably in the last like, probably like last three, four years. You know, if you're not yourself, what's the point? Like if you're out there acting a certain way because you think that's what people want, and then yeah, maybe people like you more because of that, but you're living this like fault. What's the point? Like really, what's the point of that? Just, it's, well, you like, get it the, with the age, huh? When you get yeah, a little older, you get a little you kind more of... comfortable with yourself, for, for sure. So there's that. So now I'm just at a point where I'm like, screw it. I'm just gonna be myself. If you like it, great. If you don't, whatever. Like, I have I have the people around me who are important to me, who I care about, and I know care about me. That's all that matters. It takes time to get there. Along that though, as a you know public finger professional athlete, mm -hmm. you know there's a certain you know there's little kids. Like even when we do those lives, I know some people are like, oh they curse too much. We're just trying. Listen, it's quarantine life. We're all trying to survive and we're just trying to bring like a little bit of enjoyment on a saturday night but it's in the back of my head like oh like what if a little kid is watching you know but we're doing them late thank god right yeah yeah we're doing them late <laughs> well late on the east coast um yeah. but then at the same time like if cursing and having a good time and drinking a little bit with my friends is the worst that i do i feel okay about that you know like i feel like i i, I you know i'm not you get the point I don't have to. I, don't have I to get the point that if if they're not old enough to watch, uh, you know, you by themselves, they have to. Parents have to be like, ah, no, like no. I'm not even worried about that. I'm just like, this is yeah. part of like these are normal things. I don't feel like we're doing anything crazy. That's just one small example. But when I'm out and about and stuff, like I feel like if I can go home and sleep at night, and I'm comfortable with what I did, then I'm good. Have you ever felt overwhelmed with that? With the, the attention, like in Seattle, you like you you're the goddess, you know. You get um, all this attention. Not really. I mean, I've had a few times in my life where mm -hmm. my career, where I was, I felt like I was misportrayed. Like that's tough when you feel like there's people are saying things about you that's not true, or it got like misconstrued somehow. Those moments are tough. But for like the most part, what kind part, of what kind of uh, things? Um, specific stories. Um, Okay, this, I don't even know what made me think of this one. Okay. I don't even know if it's what I'm talking about. But okay. here we are. Um, last year, this is actually not what I'm talking about, but it is what it is. Okay. Last year, I was the like honorary coach for the NBA celebrity game. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Ray Allen was on our team. And he, yeah, he comes out and he hits like a couple threes in a row. And I was like mm -hmm. mic'd up so I could talk to the announcers. And they asked me a question like, oh, so... I don't remember what they said. What's going to be your game plan? And I said, oh, well, I'm just going to ride Ray Allen all night. So that is a term where it's like, I'm just going to like feed him the ball all night. I'm just going to, yeah. hey, I'm riding that wave. He's, he's hot. Like, give, exactly. Give, give the him internet. The so riding could be a sexual innuendo. Oops. Everybody <laughs> went crazy on the internet with that. They were like, super. Some people were joking. Which was funny. I get Ray it. Ray's very cute, though. He's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're beautiful. He's beautiful. I picked one. a good one. <laughs> but I was like cracking up. I was like, oh my god, people went crazy. As if, but some people were like serious. Like, how can someone say that on live TV? Blah, blah. And it was just like, wait, what? So those moments, you're like, you have to just brush off. And like I said, I can go to bed at night knowing what happened, so I'm not gonna stress it. So you just don't don't read this in immediate words. I don't respond to anything on Twitter like that. I, I just sometimes I get like right there, but I don't hit send. <laughs> and um, what about the whole story with the president hates my girlfriend? That was like huge, <laughs> like that's oh, that huge. Yes. Yeah. Can um, you like talk a little bit? Is it normal now? Trump is okay now, or are you still <laughs> are you still guys fighting? <laughs> is that a, oh, fighting with Megan? No. I mean, no. Who knows what's he? What is he? I don't know what he's doing. 
<laughs> oh, um, goodness. No, that was more just like having Megan's back. I mean, when you think about it, just if you take everything away for a second and it's just mm -hmm. an American soccer player and the president and the president tweets at this player basically saying like, if, the t if memory serves, it was essentially like, uh, yeah, like, we want you to win, but you know, be careful what you say. Like, you'll be lucky to come to this White House. And it was just like, what president would say that to their country? Like, what? It's super, yeah. Yeah, so it was just, and then obviously Megan had to deal with all. He put so much pressure on that team and Megan specifically, that was not warranted, I don't think, from your own president. So that mm -hmm. the, the, the Players' Tribune was just a fun way to kind of have her back, poke a little fun, and talk about soccer. So, uh, how many presidents have you met? You've like had to meet no, like, three. I've, of them. No, I've only met two. Cause, um, wait, you'll remember this. In 2000, when we won, we, were we couldn't to, go. You know, we couldn't go. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. I missed him. Like I a miss war him. broke out or something, and we couldn't go. It was devastating. You I guys, mean, you war. you guys bombed somebody in Europe. <laughs> You what always do, we do. We bomb. You bomb somebody. No, no politics on this, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. We're not going to get into that. <laughs> oh, so I love you. Um, what, what, who are the best, like, no, the coolest guys uh, and NBA guys, like, you've met through national team, for you know, hanging out with them? Just, yeah. You know. Um, well, I mean, Dwayne Wade was in here at one point, so I'm not. I know. I was like, he was is he real here. or not? <laughs> That's the real. He's he's like one of the realists for for sure. Just like okay. easy to talk to, down to earth, like cool, funny. Like he doesn't. I mean, honestly, for most of the Olympics, it was like him, LeBron, and Melo, and then Chris mm -hmm. Paul too. Like they kind of had like, and they're just like fun guys. Like you can sit with them, talk shit, and like you know like about anything and it's fun it's light and they're but funny. they're very educated like they're very oh, yeah. smart you Here's know the like thing. You... yeah mm -hmm. it's like these guys have wild lives from probably i mean especially now like so Kyrie has, has become a good friend and talking to him about it like from as early as like you know who knows like eighth grade freshman year of high school they're like put in the spotlight the, the, all their actions and, and whatnot mm -hmm. are like documented. It's the YouTube, it's on Instagram, they have to be careful. What a wild life and what a wild way to grow up. And I think when you grow up in that, obviously you then become the professional. You've already had so many life experiences and I get it, they didn't you know, go to college or they didn't finish college, whatever that is. That has nothing to do with the experience and the not like mm -hmm. wealth of knowledge that some of these guys possess just from living life the way that they had to, do, had to live it. So talking to them, it's, it's and by them again, I mean like it was mostly at the Olympics is when you really get yeah. to sit down. So talking to some of those guys. You guys, you guys don't live in the Olympic Village. You always no. live by by yeah. yeah we usually live on a boat. Yeah, it's crazy. Boat, yes. yes. <laughs> the boat tail. Yeah. Who's so? Who, who's your favorite from last Olympics? Last Olympics from Rio. Um, yeah. My faves, Kyrie for sure. Spent a lot of time with him, mm -hmm. and then Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler. Those those are Jimmy. DeAndre Jordan. That, that's like four, let's go. You know who else I loved? I actually didn't like hang out with him quite as much, but Clay Thompson, those are my fave five right there. Clay was so chill. He's just like, the way, what you see, I think, mm -hmm. is really what you get with him. He's just like chill, he's funny, he's cool, he's like whatever. I they love don't him. have that special mask around people, like they just, No, yeah. They're, they're yeah, they're easy going. Cool. Uh, what, what about uh, the WNBA players, except your best friend? I know, I'm like, you? honestly, so Svet, remember yeah. when, like, you know, in 2010, we're both, like, 30-ish, right? Yeah. Because we're essentially the same age. So we're both in our 30s, and it's like, even before that, right? Think mm -hmm. your early days. It's like, you play the game, you can't, you're like, ooh, we're playing Seattle. Oh, where are Where are we going to go to eat? Yes. And you're like, oh, yeah, we're like two, three people who are always, like... Every team. Yeah. Now, for the last, like, five years, I don't go to dinner with anybody. I got no, no. friends, man. They're all retired. Because of They're Megan? Not. Or because no, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe I'm she old. keeps you home. <laughs> <laughs> no, Megan, she's on the road more than I am. No, it's like I'm friends with Diana, obviously. That's like my generation. Yeah. But now, like, all the homies have retired. So now I'm like, I hit my own team group chat up, like, hey guys, where are you going to eat? Can I come? I just like latch onto them and go to dinner with them and their friends. 
I had when I became G- GM of the national team, which mm-hmm. you know I did for like two years. It yeah. was so funny. The girls, I would meet them. They will come to the to Moscow. Say, I'm like, oh wow, I have like five national team players. Let's go out to eat. Let's you know, let's chat. They're like, okay. So the game is over at like nine o'clock, nine fifteen, nine twenty. I'm like, shower. Let's go. Like, no, we have to go home to dress up. I'm like, how long will it take? <laughs> They're like, oh, you know, 45 minutes makeup. I'm like, what do you need the makeup? Like, we're just going girls out. So anyways, at no. 11, ahead, 11 o'clock, they'll call me and be like, yeah, I'm sorry. 11 o'clock, that's some Russian stuff. So yes. you've seen Love and Basketball, right? Yes. Okay, so a long time ago. <laughs> okay, so it's like the I think the 20th anniversary was last week. So they've been playing it on yes. TV. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Meg and I were sitting and watching it. Yeah. And there was like two things where I was, and I love Love and Basketball, who doesn't? But there are two yeah. things, right? So at the end, I'll refresh your memory. You know, the main character, Monica, she's in the championship game overseas. Yeah. And overseas, the coach is yeah, talking, yeah. yeah. And yeah, they yeah. go out. So the first thing where I was like, well, this is not quite how it works. She doesn't realize her best, uh, sorry, her college teammates on the other team till right before tip off. I'm like, you would have already known who was on the team. So well, listen, they, they didn't have cell phones. So they didn't have internet. Yeah, but you would have yeah. known who was on the team. You, there would have been a scouting report. The scouting, yeah. You would have known. Right, yeah. All right, good so that's job, fun. Good job, Yes. So here's the second thing that you just reminded me of. Okay. They go to dinner after the game. They got their hair done, the makeup on. I'm like, well, that's not real. Because we all just like, except for a few, we all just get showered and roll out. We got to go eat. So that made me laugh. I was like, they were in dresses and done up. I was like... That's not how it works. But you know, there's some <laughs> Russians, there's some Russians that dress up to go to a grocery store. Oh, I know. I live there. I'd be like, why? Uh, it's, These people have high heels and fur on at 10 a.m. My best was when we knew in the lot. Back room and you see somebody undressing and they're like <laughs> wearing all this nice underwear. I'm like, yeah. where are you going? <laughs> we got have two a day on. today. Lingering. Oh, lingering. <laughs> lingering. Uh, I'm a great interviewer. Thank you very much. Oh my God. All these people from yeah, Boston. Yeah, you're killing it. Eating. You're good at the interview. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you poke. You don't let the answer stand. You're like, well, name the player. Tell me a story. Mm-hmm. Tell Perfect. me a story. You guys have the, the best show. You should go online and keep doing this. Like, are you yeah. after quarantine? Such a great I'm trying to see good questions. Nobody's asking questions. They're just admiring you, Sibyl, admiring you. Favorite coach Ariema, favorite food to eat at coaches Ariema. Yeah, how's coach doing? Meatballs? Um, I think he's doing well. I'm actually doing one of these lives with him. I don't, I don't know when exactly, when? maybe next week. He's been doing like lives, like interviewing players. I don't know oh, if you wow, really know I No, what, what is his, uh, what his uh, nickname on Instagram? No, I think he does it on like the Yukon women's basketball one. Oh, okay. What's your so what's your best story with Gina? Oh, and after God. that I'll let you go to work out and whatever you have to do. <laughs> I already worked out. <laughs> okay, good job. This is my showered bun, different from my workout bun. It's a little more no. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean you you know Svet. People ask this question, it's like millions I could, of I could times, tell you yeah. a million stories and then it's simultaneously. I have to I'm like, gonna tell people that every time I'll come to Final Four you know, after I graduated. <laughs> yeah. So all these big parties, right? I see coach talking to you all the time. <laughs> oh my God. They're like two masterminds and they just talk and they like remember everything. Probably single, arguing. Arguing and like, oh, no, that's amazing. Time. Every time I listen to you, I'm like, oh, what is it like, really, you remember that? Like, you oh, know what, you know what? 20 we, years ago, at five minutes during the game, at this, uh, you know, timeout, <laughs> you said, oh, really, for real? Like, I told you, my memory. Well, his too, sadly. But yeah, we're usually arguing. That's become our relationship. A lot of arguing. No, More no, like no, friendly no. disagreements, maybe. No, okay. How often do you talk to him? You you, you were involved <laughs> yeah. at UConn too, that some commission, com- committee? University of Connecticut? Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, oh my God, why am I drawing a blank on this? Ah, the UConn... Um, committee? Oh. No, like, what, like when you do charity stuff. Oh my God. It's okay. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna... drawing a blank. Yes, I was on the board. On the board. The yeah, I'm drawing a blank on the name, but I was on a board for just a couple of years, and then I just didn't have the time to give, so I had to get off. But like Ray Allen's on it. Um, almost like an alumni committee. I just why I'm drawing a blank. It's okay. Don't worry about. It. What do you Thanks. think is the most important um, political questions? So, 
Thoughts on uh, Don Stanley as a player and a coach? That's a good question. Oh, yeah. Um, so as a player, um, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the, the unique experience I get. I have both sides of her, so I got to play with yes, her. Yes, exactly, yeah. And even though she was at, you know, obviously closer to the end of her career, um, which was, like I said, they were replaying all those Olympic gold medal games. It was fun to watch mm -hmm. her play um, as a young I played player. against her too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I saw you. a couple you. of years ago, yeah, yeah. I saw you in the day. Um, yeah, so as a player and like playing against her, like she just has like this um, air of confidence. You know, it's like it's oozing a little bit. She's got like a little cockiness to her, but it's kind of mm -hmm. just like, yo, this is me. This is how I play. Like, let's go. That kind of a vibe. That's how she was when you played against her. Um, same when you played with. And, and the one thing I took from her was she was never scared to tell anybody what to do at any point. Mm -hmm. Like, she did not care if you were Lisa Leslie and Cheryl Swoops. She didn't care. She was like, you need to be there. You need to be there. Like, and you need to be there. Go over there. She wasn't scared. And the thing as mm -hmm. a coach that I noticed is, She's got that same confidence. It's not, it oozes, but like in a different way. Like she's just kind of very comfortable, I think, in who she is and like what she wants. And she just kind of like goes out there, she says her piece. And with the national team, I think because she was a player, she understands that there's a trust level that you yes. have to have mm -hmm. in a coach. So she knows she doesn't have to, she can say things once and we're gonna do it. And that's what she expects. Cause she knows as a player, that's how it would have been. So it's 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 this fun. I don't know. Knowing her from both sides has been has been cool for me. So she treats you like you're on the same on her level, the same, or it's well, a little I think different. As a yeah, I think when you're a professional coach, it, there has to be some of that because you oh, are dealing. Yeah. Like honestly, I don't know Dawn's age off the top of my head, but I can't mm -hmm. imagine she's more than six. I don't know, eight, nine, ten years older than me. That's not that much in the grand scheme of things. You know, there's, there's people this who are co-workers. So, so, you know, she. I think she treats, there, there's some like times where it's, it's um, you know, yeah. you're on the same level. Then there's times where she's the coach or the player <laughs> and that's okay too. So what do you think of the traits? One of the, mm -hmm. the things you said, like you have to be confident in yourself or more cocky, like to be, to become the best point guard ever like you are. <laughs> No, we I have think one minute. We have one minute. You have one minute. But you have to, like, I'm not going to answer this in one minute. Um, <laughs> man, yeah, be yourself. I think, I, I, honestly, I'm not like Dawn. Lindsay Whalen's not like me. Uh, Chelsea Gray's not like Lindsay Whalen. Skylar Diggins mm -hmm. is not like Chelsea Gray. Mariah, you can go on and on and on. Nobody is the same. We right. do have similar qualities, how we how we lead, or j just that we are leaders, that we are confident enough to say things. Um, but our games are all different, and you have to like find what you're great at, and 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 be very comfortable and confident with it, and not try to be someone else. Not try, not try to worry and think about what other people are doing. Do what you do. Mm -hmm. You know that's that's a great advice. But the one thing you told me once, I always remember that. Yeah, I have to tell you, I never told you this. Yeah, tell um, me. All these coaches, when um, at the end of my career, all of a sudden I start missing my shots. You know, didn't play as much. We're not in the flow, and all of a sudden you tell me during the timeout in Se in Seattle, we were in Seattle. You like stop thinking too much. You're thinking too much, and all of a sudden I'm like that's like nobody ever put it this easy and straight up and after that i realized like i really start thinking too much on the yeah. court so you really helped me i did stop playing in after that year but at least i knew <laughs> what was the problem we got that ring now <laughs> <laughs> we got that ring but so thank you so much it's i true. love you yeah, i love Lucy, you so good to see you stay Are the girls, healthy stay the girls sleeping? what are they doing no, they grandma outside. Oh, I kick okay. them out. You keep them out for the interviews? <laughs> oh, yes. They're like, quiet. It's nine o'clock and they, they want to get back in. That's true. But it is I'll late. show you. Yes. Well, I hope you guys Thanks. are doing well in all this craziness, having to stay home and everything. It's good to yes, see you. Yes, we are. We are. Take care. Okay. Right. I'll be following Thanks. you in the Olympics too. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. So appreciate it. Right. You're the best. Thank you.